All right, it is Friday, September 27th, and the Detroit Lions are kicking off their weekend with the practice report. So let's bring it in and let's talk about who's in, who's out, who's potentially going to play the good news from today. And are the Detroit Lions trending in the right direction? Had a wonderful conversation today with with Dan Vians and uh, had, a, had a lot of the conversation about injuries and how injuries are going to dictate a large portion of this game on Monday night. Uh, so let's bring it in. Uh, this is from the Detroit Lions website. Uh, if that to Melifanwu is still not practicing as of today, which is not great news, but it is it is news that we did not expect. We were hoping to have Efetu back, but the Detroit Lions are, are just not in a big position to rush him back to the field just yet. He is now going to have what should be another two weeks off before the next game, and he could be ready, which is going to be coming at the right time. I think a large part of this, uh, in, in the no rush on Efetu Melifanwu, and this is just speculation, is Brian Branch, as you see down here in the middle, made it back to full participation today. Now, this doesn't mean he's playing on Monday. They still have to decide on Monday if it's a good idea for him to go, but the fact that he is a full participant is good news. He's trending in the right direction. Frank Ragnow was shut down yesterday. Uh, Dan Campbell wanted to make that very clear that there was no way that Frank Ragnow was going to be playing on Monday night. The expected starter in place of Frank Ragnow is Graham Glasgow. Uh, they spoke about it today, at least Ben Johnson did, during the media availability portion of today's press conferences. Graham Glasgow should be taking over the lead duties at center. Uh, look, he's got great experience. He's done it for us before. He played center last season and did a wonderful job in place of Frank Ragnow. Now, he's not a Frank, but he is a Graham, and I think he'll be just fine. Ennis the Menace rakes draw, limited participant. Good and bad news with this. It means that he could end up making the roster uh, come game day on Monday. Not sure if he will be needed, though. Uh, so pay attention to this one on Monday afternoon. Uh, and, of course, Brian Branch, as we just said, full participant. Sam Laporta. So this is the surprising one of the day. Now, little birdie told me that Sam Laporta more than likely was not going to be playing on Monday. So even though he's a full participant today does not mean that he will be ready to go on Monday. But you know what? I'd rather have him play. If he's if he's good to go, let him go. Uh, but at the same time, maybe an extra couple weeks would be worth it to sit him down to get him fully healthy for the long run. And then again, maybe they're just banking on him playing 60 minutes, hopefully not suffer another injury, and still be ready to go for the long run after the bye is done. Ali McNeil, this is an absolute shocker. The fact that Ali McNeil has now gone from week to week to day to day to full participant in less than five days. That's incredible. Uh, this doesn't mean that he's at 100% health. He could only you know, be at 80% health, but he was still a full go in practice today, trending in the right direction to play on Monday night. Levi O. Oh, so Levi O oh is going to be a big time force there in the middle for us on Monday night. We're going to need him to really rise up in this game. Uh, with the fact that Marcus Davenport is out and Josh Paschal is going to be kicked down to the right side and get a lot of playing time. Uh, and, of course, him and Hutch are probably going to flip sides a little bit, but I plan on seeing Hutch lined up over the right tackle, which is supposed to be another third-string opportunity for Aiden Hutchinson at the guard position. Uh, Dan Skipper, full participant. Uh, he did not practice on Thursday. And, uh, and that, you know, some of this stuff is also age-related, right? These, these veterans are getting some opportunity to get some extra rest uh, but in this case, uh, Dan Skipper did suffer a rib injury during last week's game, and now he is ready to go according to this injury report. So, lines are looking good. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about the game on Monday night. I'll be down there uh, at the tunnel, ready to go, not sitting in the usual season ticket seats, but uh, it's going to be a, a fun event there with Eric Rintemacki, Uber Lights. Uh, we're going to have a great time. Uh, now, according to the, the Detroit Lions uh, website, now, Sam Laporta was still dealing with what was supposed to be a low ankle issue. And uh, and I'm bringing that up again because during the game last week, it appeared that he had suffered another hamstring issue. He was kind of, you know, pounding on it, beating on it towards the end of the game. And, and for that reason, it had me a little bit concerned that maybe he's been battling this hamstring issue the entire time. And I know it was brought up in a press conference, and I think that there was just a miscommunication there between what the reporter was hearing and what Dan Campbell was trying to say. But during the game, it did appear that, that it was more hamstring related with Sam Laporta. So it, it'll be interesting to see where this trends on, on Monday afternoon when the final report comes out. But either way, this is good news. Your Detroit Lions are about as healthy as they're going to be right now at this stage of the season. Uh, it's going to be one heck of a game 
the Seahawks come to play. Last season, if you guys remember, this was probably the most disrespected I felt as a fan ever by a form by a, by an opponent by another team. Uh, just the way that they interacted with the crowd, uh, the way that they treated our team. I mean, they came in and bullied us around, and that can't happen this year. We have to be the aggressors. We have to stay on top, and we're going to need everybody uh, on this squad to be able to do that, and I expect that they will be ready. It is time for the Detroit Lions to take this season to the next level, and that's going to go down on Monday night. Be there. It's going to be an electric, and I mean electric, atmosphere. Uh, Monday night games in Ford Field are some of the most incredible experiences you will ever have as a fan. I would urge you, if there's any standing room tickets available, if you can get your hands on a ticket, pay the cost, get there. It, I'm telling you, it'll be the most fun experience you have ever had as a fan of the Detroit Lions. That's all for this episode of Breaking News Updates, Friday edition, Lions Practice Report. We'll see you guys in the next one. Go on Pride. Go Detroit Lions. Take care.